because if you're on the inside, please relax and, and sit, chat, right? <laughs> yeah, like, um, it's, do you have cheese rolls? Cheese rolls? Yeah. Chicken? No, just the cheese. Cheese rolls. Do you have them? No. If you don't, don't worry, we'll get something later on. I'm sorry. It's okay, don't worry. I'm really sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Arkadaşlar ne parasını yapın? Gel gel, almayacağım. Ben alırım yani, orada yiyeceğim onu da. It's so disgusting. Did you try that before? Sen gel misin? I tried the yemek. Ha şimdi biraz daha yemekten yeter mi? Ooo! They're nice, but they're gonna be cold. They're cold. Gel bakalım bu. Aynen, biraz daha açayım isterdim sana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ona yeter de. Yeter ya. Parayı versin ben ona veririm ya. Yanımda şimdi para yok. Rice. Bu rice ya. Bu stuff. Peki. Bu değil bir rice. Bu 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 bir rice. Just, is that okay? No, of course. I would never put this in my mouth. <laughs> Can you describe, please, what's the taste? There's no taste of the mussels, right? It's like a, it's like a lemony rice. Like a lemony rice. They're stuffed with rice. So guys, when you are on the beach, on on the tiger beach here, you can try this mussel, what you call it? <laughs> Lemon mussels. Lemon mussels. This is the guy who can supply you with this. Is it nice? What, what, you, what you can what describe? What you can describe? What's the taste? Mussel taste and rice and lemon. Right, okay. Try one. Is it time for me? Let's see that, guys. Thank you. Thank you. It's very hot, but it's not hot. I'm going to be sick. 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 I just want to... Can I get one more, please? Can I get one more? Thank you. Can I get one more? Can I get one more? Can I get one more? Thank you very much, Alec. I honestly swallowed that. Para verir biraz daha. So. Ben de. Oh. Ben de sıkıntı. Just feels disgusting, but it's like lemony. Baktım gördüm senden bir hayır yok. The texture, yeah, the texture is looks weird. Ben normalde her yerde yemem böyle şeyi. They're nice. Kimin ne yaptı böyle? Ah, kimin? Şu. Ah. Guys, I can't do that. Uh, <laughs> go, no, no, no. Don't you? No. Don't, you. Ah. don't you? Just Come on. Yeah. Just like a muscle. Yeah. You plan? Don't you? Don't you? Sushi. What? Should I just swallow it? Yeah, just swallow it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Guys, I'm signing off. I had so many stories. People been saying being hustled in Turkey. People been saying it's being stalked in on the streets. That see, to be honest, in my own experience, I've been here for like two weeks, and I made so many friends in here. And why I made the friends in here? Because they actually not like that, like people saying it is. In my own experience, I can say the people in Turkey, the proper Turkish people. Who, whatever is the, it is, is the businessman, is the owners of the houses or restaurants or the water sports or whatever it is, it's safe. It's absolutely safe to do so. Uh, you can talk with those people, they're not gonna drag you anywhere, they're not gonna uh, tell you, oh come on, 
buy a drug from me or something. I didn't hear anything like that in here. At least in now in August, uh, in a pandemic time, uh, there is no clubs open, there is no bar street open. Which bar street is over there. You can see that whole line, Marina Place. I had a, I had a lovely walk uh, in a night. Uh, it looks stunning. I advise you to go over to Marina just to having a walk, stop in one of the restaurants, having a lovely meal or drink. And the people who is the local over there, they always gonna tell you hi. They would sit down with you, have a chat because they want to improve their English. The thing is, guys, if you come up to those people and sit down, have a little chat, have a little laugh. What else I can advise to you? You. If you learn few words like thank you, bye, how are you, what's your age, what's your name, in Turkish language, they will appreciate that. Yeah, so what can I say? Honestly, no hustle. You will feel a little bit uncomfortable on the places like when you go on the main road, okay? When you go on the main road talking with someone outside a hotel or outside the bars, restaurants, uh, you will feel a little bit like mm, I'm not comfortable yeah if you're not comfortable you just leave you don't need to say anything you just say thank you I don't need that and you walk away and they're not gonna touch you they're not gonna stop you anymore and the next time when you come past that place again they're just gonna be so friendly with you they're not even gonna try to stop you today I'm staying on the beach again which is one of my favorite already now is the sisters and my another favorite is uh, tiger which is next uh, next beach uh, I've got lovely swings over here which made which makes my day really because I love it and you're lying down in here it splashes your back you get your tan it's lovely the water sports is around this area got a lovely view so yeah the tips I can give you to come to the Turkey especially for the ladies avoid the places being alone on the street maybe try to get a bus or taxi to get from place A to place Z okay um, you're gonna feel if you walk alone you're gonna feel attention you're gonna have attention okay the attention you're gonna get from the locals but they not gonna try to grab you touch you uh, they don't they're just gonna talk okay and talking means you can always say no yeah you always can say look I I'm busy now I wanna go now I talk to you later or whatever you know also when you are on the beach it's the service is great in here they will come up to you and say hi how are you how is your day would you like I bring you sunbed would you like where you want to sit down would you like some drinks would you like some food is everything is ready for you in here okay you don't even need to go to the bar and ask to bring your food or to bring your sunbed or to bring your drink okay they already see you coming in and they come up to you don't hesitate to talk to them Turkish people is the culture about a friendly they might look sometimes or they're gonna castle you or something but it's just because they make a money effort it's their living okay here is so many waiters uh, people who works in a bar as well coming over from different islands like Izmir Antalya uh, Bodrum Istanbul because Istanbul is now very quiet no many tourists now because of pandemic so people come over for holiday here in Marmaris Marmaris is great to come over also Antalya and Bodrum as I said and those people coming over is local people is the Turkish or Kurdish 
They can be only Kurdish, they can be only Turkish, they can be mixed Kurdish-Turkish, okay? They come over for work in Marmaris and they make a living of us. And they're coming for season. They're coming for season from April, May time until the late October time. It can be beginning of November. And they love, they love having a pension because all this time in the winter time they've been back home they're not seen much they're not seen they're not they just see the family few friends so they come over here they're so happy and they are so happy to talk to you they're happy to improve their english language they're happy to go out with you they're happy to go out for dinner whatever you know but they don't have that much money so what you can expect being a girl if you going out for dinner with a Turkish guy who works as a waiter or barman, you need to expect you're going to pay for dinner. I've got only a few days left and I'm going back to the England and I already I feel this vibe inside me. I'm going to miss everyone here. So even the local Turkish people coming over here from Istanbul, from other parts, and they staying here for one month, for two months, some of them for two weeks, wherever it is, and they have such a lot, it's such a fun. So, here is my friend. Here is my another friend. Here is my another friend. And here is one more friend. We are all having our sunbeds on the beach, have a wine, have a beer, have a water. Because today is 45 degrees heat and we are enjoying. So this is the few things I wanted to tell you about Turkey. I be I never been in Turkey before. This is my first time, and I wanted just to tell you my experience and my feelings and vibes about the place. Because normally, when I go somewhere, I look to the locals, how locals is acting, what locals saying to, how they, what they own about, yeah. And I can say Turkish people, even if it's Kurdish people in Turkey. They are such a fun. So I met few girls, Turkish girls. They are fun as well. The culture as a Turkish is so much free. They free to talk. They smile. They nice. They helpful. So, that's all for today. My experience has been shared with you guys. Hopefully you're gonna make it. Hopefully the pandemic not gonna stop you to come over. If you live in England, then I can tell you EasyJet company, the EasyJet flights been canceled. Don't book any EasyJet flights at the moment, but check always on Google if it's allowed to go through. And I'm saying to you, a bye. From Marmaris, Sisters Bar. Signing off.